Got it. I hear. I am here. I am live. So, it's the Thursday before the end of the year, and the year is rapidly coming to a Got close. It. I hear. Okay. So, what should I say? I was just reflecting on a few issues about the annual review that I'm still planning to do. You know, 10 years ago, yeah, I think it was 2012, I had a mini stroke. They called it a TIA at, uh, related to the A standing for amnesia. And it was some, it was, it's like a stroke when you, when you have a, um, a stroke, it's damage that's done after a 24 hour period. And the, the TIA, the mini stroke, is when they catch you in time within the first 24 hours and minimize the damage. So I say I had no permanent damage. However, I do notice that I have issues remembering time. I can't tell you whether it was yesterday or last year. There was something, something that even happened now somebody tried to tell me it was the last week and I thought it was quite a few months ago. So I don't know how serious it is. And I recognize how important it is to keep a positive attitude. And even though I know that I'm so grateful that my mother never got dementia, even though her mother and my other grandmother, the last couple of years of their lives, they both lived to be over 90, mind you. And they were 90 years old and completely sane and normal and great. And my mother lived to be 93. And I've somehow always known I'm going to live to be over 90, to live a long, healthy life. So with the two knee operations that I had two years ago, it's sometimes a challenge to keep a positive attitude, to believe I'm going to be healthy and I'm going to live a long, healthy, active life. And especially when I have friends, Susan Crosswaite, Maresi, Elvira, Elizabeth Riedel, people who are younger than I am now, who've passed over. So I have to reflect on what is the meaning of my life. And sometimes it even requires some radical courage to even do things that may not get approval from everybody. I just posted a couple of photos. You know, I've been wanting to share a lot of things, but I've been going through a lot of other stuff as well. And you know what I just did? I just did a reflection in my diary. I have added three lines my letter to God, my reflection, which I do journaling. I've been journaling for years as a child and in the unification movement and digitally since I've had a computer, I've just loved, I, I tend to type faster than I can write, even though some people recommend journaling by hand in your notebook, your gratitude manual, your dreams, write down the things that you really want with your hand, write down a, a thousand times, you know, these particular things, Bob Proctor and lots of other trainers talk about, write it by hand, write it with your left hand if you're right-handed to train your brain to think and feel differently. These are all things that it's okay with me, valid, fine. However, for me, I prefer to journal on my computer because I'm faster typing here than I am writing it down by hand. So I've 
pasted these three lines in my template for my journal where I have a letter to God. Now that's only been recent. That's only a few months ago where I, I got it from somebody and I shared it with my mastermind group when I got it. It was one of these mentors that I've picked up this year, writing a letter to God and then my own reflection and then God's letter to me. And it's, I, I haven't managed it every day, but I've got it in my journal every day. And because I don't even get around to journaling every day, I still try to record what I've been doing, what I've been wasting my time on. <laughs> it helps me. Like I said, it was my memory issue. It was the point that I, I couldn't tell you, what did I do yesterday? What did I do last week? Where was I a month ago? And it helps me to, to write these things down. And I like to have them in my journal. And I like to have them structured. I'm a data assistant, so I like to have all the information clearly organized once I was even playing in my mind with the idea maybe I'm a little bit autistic because I, I want to have things so structured that I can't start to even deal with the content until I've taken care of the structured details so for example with proofreading when I'm asked to proofread some texts in English especially books that have been translated from German into English. I tend to go for all the grammar and punctuation details before I even get into the content and, and verbal expressions. So the God's letter to me part is something that has been very effective when I have that in. So I've got the sound on the whole time. I've got to Okay, that means you're hearing an echo as well. How annoying, isn't it? <laughs> I've got to turn the sound off on Facebook. I just wanted to know that it was still recording. That's all. So sorry about that. <laughs> I'm the techie. I'm the techie. I'm the expert. I'm the one who picks all these things up. True, true, because <laughs> I've been in such a situation and some other experts wouldn't even recognize what was going on what was happening but I, I picked it up right so how far into the meeting five six eight minutes into the meeting and I recognized I had an echo okay forgive me please I'm only human just like you but I'm not afraid to show it like I said our life here on earth is limited and if we don't show anybody who we are <laughs> what we're doing, what we're capable of doing and how we can serve one another. How's anybody going to know? How is anybody going to know what you can do, what I can do, what I can do for you, how I can help you, how I can motivate you? Right. So I was on about my journal and my diary. I have two screens and I've just placed the camera between the two screens because it was too far away and it wasn't focusing properly. And now it, it's, it blocks my view. I have to, you know, sometimes go down a little bit to see what's going on, but it's very helpful for me to have two screens because I can open windows and look at things while I'm talking to you. And because the camera is now in the middle, I can look you right in the eye and still see what's on my on my screen however you know what yesterday when I was out walking I realized wow all these I could do a lot more with my virtual background but hey guess what one day you'll be seeing me with a real background with a real background especially when it gets warmer when I start doing this on my laptop so uh the letter to me so what I wanted to tell you was I really get into this God's letter to me part and I open myself up. And I guess it's because I have also opened myself up to other mentors, people who I've subscribed to, who talk about channeling. And I believe it. I know it. So a lot of what we do, what we live, how we live, is 
what we believe, what we think, what we think about ourselves, I've come to recognize anyone can channel. So I know Joy Martina and Stephanie Bruns and a couple of others who who channel and talk about channeling and encourage people. What it means is plug into the universe and receive what wants to be given. Enable, allow yourself to receive. So I've opened myself up in my own journaling and diary to allow God to talk to me. And he calls me his dearest child because I am, you are God's dearest child. Every one of us. Let me read. It was just three words, three lines today. God's letter to me, my dearest child, you are my child. I love you. I need you. Be yourself. Do what you are best at. Do not hide your light under a bushel. You have a clear mission. You know inside what it is. Let it out. That's, that's the key point. That's where I'm really struggling to figure out and understand what am I really meant to be doing because I'm working on my profile in terms of not just what am I doing, but what am I getting paid for? What am I doing with remuneration, with a financial gain, for financial gain, for to serve the world in a way that the world can and wants to return to me, to enrich my life substantially. I can enrich your life here by going live on Facebook. You can enrich me by giving me a like, a tick, a comment. That makes me happy. Why do you listen to me if I'm not giving you something? So give me a, give me a like, give me a comment. And ultimately, it boils down to those that I can mentor, that I can be a consultant to, to find those people who are prepared to engage in the energy exchange. The energy exchange being I give to you and you give to me and the energy, money is a form of energy. Just like electricity, the internet, and all these other ways that we can communicate and connect with one another. It's all energy. God is energy. Love is energy. Money is also energy. And I'm looking for the ways that I can be more effective in this energy exchange. Got it? You know what I mean? So Give me a, a like. It doesn't cost you anything except your internet fee, which you're paying anyhow because you're watching, aren't you? Or maybe you've got me on my on your phone. So this Thursday before the new year, enjoy your day. Take a bit of time to reflect on your year and to plan for year 2023. And I plan to be around for a long time. So I'm challenged about keeping up with all of these changes on Facebook and Meta and all of these digital things, because as a baby boomer, I know many of us are very, very challenged with the changes, which to me, you know, every time Facebook makes a change, I'm thinking all of these young techies who are bored stiff and don't know what to do and think it, they, they can make it better every single day by changing something every single day are not serving us baby boomers, not making us happy. And when I manage to keep up and figure out how it works, how to go live, how to make a group, how to post, how to share, how to solicit comments, how to make a call for action, when I figure these things out, now I've already lost my thought of, train of thought. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a baby boomer and I've managed that. So maybe I can help you. So I recognize my role at my age <laughs> is to support others who may be struggling a little bit in this area. And it's not only people my age, it's people 20 years younger. 
and it's not just a matter of age it's a matter of of um attitude um uh synchronicity what you're really interested in and i believe that information is really important and and really can really serve us and should serve us and not control us so i don't like it when when microsoft or facebook or youtube or anybody else tries to take control and makes me use my lily.austria at gmail.com email address to log in to twitter and linkedin and everywhere else because i've got my lily.austria at famgundaka eu email address and that's what i want to use for my identity when i log in anywhere and even though i am on google on gmail and i use gmail for my backup for my storage i don't want that as my primary and because i've done youtube channels for other organizations and even set up gmail accounts for other organizations i don't want microsoft or google or gmail to automatically say this is who i am i want to select it for myself and to figure out how to do all that is often a big challenge and you can see it doesn't it hasn't killed me yet. <laughs> it hasn't killed me yet. And as long as I'm here, maybe I can serve you. Maybe I can help you to get on top of it as well. Okay, sense of humor. I'm an expert at sense of humor and teaching tech. Teaching tech with humor. Okay, so have a great day. See you next time.